Today we stop and give tribute to Father Norman Paul Thomas. It's hard to even imagine the corner of Rivard and Elliot because it is the corner that Norman Thomas built. For 54 years, he stood as the pastor of Sacred Heart Church in Detroit, as well as St. Elizabeth. But what do we say about a giant? A giant whose heartbeat is not only felt at Sacred Heart in St. Elizabeth, but in the heart and soul of Detroit. Born in Highland Park, Michigan, came from a very wealthy family, not a family rich in material things, but rich in love, a close-knit family where his faith was nurtured and soon he had the desire to become a priest. But his priesthood was also shaped by the things of the world. It was shaped by his society, shaped by the Korean War, shaped by Vietnam, and ultimately shaped by the Civil Rights Movement. All of these things became catalysts of change in the life of Norman Paul Thomas. But it didn't stop there. In 1967, we had the Detroit Uprising, where we saw firsthand how racism divided the city that he loved so much. Yet at the heart of everything he did was the people of Detroit. So he gathered with friends, brother priests from around the area, to start to try to reimagine what could be done for the church to rebuild trust, to restore hope, but even more to start working on a better Detroit. And soon after the Tuesday Fellowship Breakfast Club was started, which resulted in the Detroit Catholic Pastoral Alliance. But things never stopped there because they were always looking to find ways to reimagine, to grow ministry, but to make sure that the people were at the heart of it all. Father Thomas's ministry continued at Sacred Heart, and there he put the people first. He became known as the people's pastor, not only because of his love for the people of the city of Detroit and his love for his congregation, but the love for people all over. This love radiated in every part of his life, and he became the champion of all that was Detroit. He had the opportunity to walk with people in high places, yet he never lost the common touch. Father Thomas was and continues to shine as a light for all who knew him. One of the things that Father Thomas always reminded people was that the church was more than just the building, but the church's mere presence in the community reminded people that there was hope. Yet in 89 and 90, when church closings happened, we saw how communities started to decay because the very hope that they looked for in the community had fallen apart. But the Detroit Catholic Pastor Alliance was committed to try to change that. And since then, they've done so many programs and buildings on Long Gratiot Corridor, trying to find ways to improve the lives of people wherever they were. This was the dream of Norman Paul Thomas, to help the youth and the seniors and those who needed an uplifting. Father Thomas will continue to remain a giant in our community. And for that, we want to say thank you. Thank God for Father Norman Paul Thomas. <laughs>